Hello. So it struck me the other day that I haven't actually read any love poetry during this exercise for National Poetry Month. Um, and I got to thinking about that and I realized that I guess I don't read a lot of love poetry. Um, this, uh, yeah, this, this sharing has helped me, you know, see my own poetry reading a little better. And I guess I just have a, an affinity for poetry where the poet is sort of like a social critic, more than where the poet is documenting the ups and downs of the heart. Um, and I thought, well, I've got to have some love poetry. It's a big part of poetry. It's probably what a lot of people think about when they hear poetry, you know, roses are red, violets are blue. Um, and so I thought, what have I got that's love poetry? And I found Love Songs by Sarah Teasdale, who is another of these great American lyric poets, uh, born in 1884 in Missouri, died in 1933 in New York City. Um, another kind of like ultimately New York poet um, who won the Pulitzer in 1917 for this very collection, Love Songs. And we, I'm happy to say, have this 1917 um, printing. I guess it's the first printing that we got at John K. King for $6. John K. King's a bookstore in Detroit. Um, and it has a wonderful note in it. For permission to set any of these poems to music, application should be made to the author through the publishers. It also has this magnificent 1917 Macmillan logo. Anyway, um, so as I was looking through this book, it dawned on me that while it's called Love Songs, uh, it has a variety of poems on all kinds of different topics and themes, um, including, you know, a handful of really beautiful love songs. Um, but I realized as I was reading them that I like Sarah Teasdale's saddest poems best, and there are a lot of really sad poems in here. Sad love poems, sad poems about other things. Um, and so I thought I was feeling kind of melancholy. I just think it's a really, I don't know, last week was so hard, and this week doesn't feel any less hard. Um, and I think while I, you know, I'm really doing fine, like I'm fine personally, but I just feel like a lot of people in my life, friends and family are just like really suffering right now. And then there's the news and then there's just like the world and it's all a lot. It's just a lot all the time these days. Um, and I wanted to reflect that in my choice. Um, so I, I promise that I will read, I will, that I will try to find and read a good love poem before the month is out. But for now, we're gonna read a sad poem. Really lovely melancholy poem, which in, in itself is actually something of a love poem. It's called Lights. When we come home at night and close the door, standing together in the shadowy room, safe in our own love and the gentle gloom, glad of familiar wall and chair and floor, glad to leave far below the clanging city, looking far downward to the glaring street, gaudy with light, yet tired with many feet. In both of us wells up a wordless pity. Men have tried hard to put away the dark. A million lighted windows brilliantly inlay with squares of gold the winter night. But to us standing here, there comes the stark sense of the lives behind each yellow light, and not one wholly joyous, proud, or free.